Today's adventure is going to be some garden variety basic floor press and the structure will be this for today's workout. We're going to do sets of four with a, with a brief pause. We're not going to actually call the pause, but she's going to set it on the floor and then drive from a dead stop, her own pause. So let's say controlled uh, accelerations from the bottom. Sets of four repeated. What we're going to do today is we're going to try to get either six sets in 15 minutes of four or 10 to 12 sets in 20 minutes. So we're on the clock. Once we start, she does the first four and the clock begins. And then she's going to rest as long as she wants to, as long as she feels she should. And then she's going to do another set of four as soon as she thinks and feels that she's ready. So it's, it's just a, you know, basic sets of four, six or ten sets, which is a lot. But what we're really doing here, what's really happening, is I'm going to have her concentrating on feeling her strength return to her in between sets. This, uh, this sense of paying attention and, and really knowing when your body's truly ready. Um, not by a clock and not by you know, just hoping you're ready, it's time to do another set, but actually exhausting the muscle in a set of four and then just staying right there and feeling the strength return. The fatigue fades and the strength returns. And if you pay attention, you can feel that. And that's a really valuable lesson to know about yourself, to know if you're really ready to go. Now we're gonna push the envelope and go as fast as possible. What this also is going to illustrate is that the body is ready to go and can do the job oftentimes before the head is ready. In, in a beginner, it's the other way around. They think they're ready and they're not. In an advanced lifter training heavy, the body doesn't take that long to recover from set to set. But you got to, with heavy loads, you have to really prepare your mind for that next huge effort that you have to bring forth. The body is ready, but the mind takes longer. It's not uncommon for us to do this when, and, and take nine minutes, 11 minutes between sets. You know, five to nine minutes is probably fairly normal. We're gonna push that envelope. She's gonna go as fast as she feels she can without missing any sets of four. And she's gonna try to shoot for roughly six in 15 minutes, 10 in 20 minutes, something around that, about two and a half minutes per set. That's what physically the textbooks tell us that our body needs to rest. The other thing she's gonna notice that, that I want her to pay attention to and notice is that as she does set after set, the fatigue starts to, to stick, it starts to mount up. And the rest that she needs in between the first couple sets is gonna be different than the rest she's gonna require at the last couple sets. So this is a really illustrative, this is a good self-teaching technique about the balance between recovery and how your strength returns to you, feeling that in your body, I'm ready for another set, mentally and physically, and also the, the, how, how fatigue accrues and builds up over time. You can't do this forever. You can't do an infinite number of sets. You, you have a limit and you just can't function anymore. So our goal is to make all the sets, make all the four, and pay attention to those things. So we're just going to do a live training today. Sets of four, narrow grip for triceps, brief self-pause at the bottom, just, just stop, just don't bounce it, and then drive all the way to the top, rack it back up, and then just Feel the recovery happening to you. Sense it, pay attention to it. Most people occupy their mind and do something else and just realize at some point, hey, it's about time for another set. I want you to pay close attention to that. As soon as you feel your strength is back to do another four, bam, do another four. All right, we'll start the clock. You're not gonna rush, but you're gonna go when you feel ready. All right, when you start, I start. Just four. Okay, here we go. Clock is running. 
now for good reps. That was a good finish. That was a good finish. Remember, this is a tricep exercise. Finish. One more. Slam it home. Bam. Rack. Start resting. Don't mess around. Start resting. Okay. I'll, I'll keep you apprised a little bit of the time. So if we want 10 sets in 20 minutes, we need about a set every two and a half minutes. Generally. Okay? Some will go faster than others. You're going to go by feel. You're going to tune your instincts in. You're going to learn how you recover. Are you ready for one right now? Probably not, see? But, you're, but it's, it's starting to, you're starting to think about it. Pay attention to it. Feel when you can make another four. And at that point, attack it. And if you don't, if you only make three and three quarters, then we know we need a little bit longer rest. It teaches you something. It's okay to miss. Because you want to learn. Okay. That was a quick one. That was a minute and 12 seconds. Let's go, though. Let's get another four now. Go. Lock. Lock it out. This is tricep. This is for triceps. Boom. Those are good pauses. All right, rack it up and start resting. Those are going quick. And that's all right. This is what you feel. But I will warn you, if you go too quick, you're going to run out of steam. Yeah, yeah. That, that fatigue is going away right now, and the strength is coming back. The body's doing a whole bunch of chemical processes. And so you got to make sure that the chemical processes get done. After that, it's all a mind game. It's all a mind game. This is a good drill to do with music. But since this is the first time you've done it, I want to talk you through it. But it's really nice to just walk in the gym and know after a warm-up set, you're going to be done in 20 minutes. You're leaving in 20 minutes. All you've got to do is get through four at a time. You can pretend in your mind and force yourself to not feel tired for a few seconds. It takes five or six seconds to do four reps. So you can be tired now as long as you're not tired when you take that weight out and do those four. It's sort of a trick you play on your mind. I can't be tired now. I'll be tired in between sets. If that happens. Feel the strength back. I was about a minute 40. All right, punch. One. Two. Three. Now finish strong, please. Strong finish. Good. Rack it up. Start resting. All right, we're doing fine. You're, you're motoring along. And I'm going to let you. I think we're going too fast, but don't slow down because of me. You have to learn the lesson in your body for yourself. You have to feel what going too fast. And, and if you make 10 or 12 sets, you'll prove me wrong. What that shows me is we needed a little more weight, though. You're right. That was just because, <laughs> very good. All right. right. So you've got three sets in, and we're just about to come up on the four-minute mark. Mark, four minutes. And you've already got three, and you're doing great. How are the triceps feeling? What's fatiguing? Anything? Feel strong still. Don't feel any fatigue. Not yet. Good. Good. Now just sense the strength come back to you, but be certain that it's there for four. Don't miss and give me three. Three and a half, three and three quarters. Give me all four. Because I don't mind if you don't make ten sets in twenty minutes. Those aren't the rules. Those are just general overall guidelines. And if we were doing sets of three or two or six, those guidelines would change. That timing would change. Let me 
just over the five minute mark. So you only took a, about a minute break there. One. Two, still looks good though, looks good. You're a little wobbly though, let's get a nice straight clean line. That wobble's gonna cost you. Rest. Okay. Four sets down. When you're doing a lot of sets like this, little tiny things add up. When you're doing 10 or 12 sets, if you're a little bit loose here or there or anywhere, that, that begins to add up and it, 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 it will put at risk being successful at the last couple sets. It's not, it's not a problem now. So I want you to tighten up your whole overall demeanor. Your shoulders, your arms, your grip, your body, everything. The bar path, instead of any float and wobble, let's take it straight down and straight up, straight down and straight up. Not kind of tight. Even if it's going up fast and wobbling, it's going to cost you later. I mean, these that adds up. You need to save it. You need to think ahead. You want you want to keep doing this well as long as you can until the 20 minutes runs out. I guess not as long as you can. That that, that was a misnomer. I shouldn't have said that. But but you want to do it well all the way to the end. That's impossible because you know you're going to fatigue. But you're going to fight the fatigue and you're going to sense the strength coming back in between each and every set. And we're just going to keep cycling this around. And I think it's actually good for an athlete to go through and go too fast a couple times to teach themselves to slow down. The less, if I told you when to go, it wouldn't. You might pick it up, but if you learn by, by making a small mistake like that, you're going to remember it far better and if I tell you about it, you're gonna know it from the inside out. And that kind of learning is valuable. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you just keep rolling here. You're moving, and that's good. Feel the strength. Good quality reps. Now I want you to tighten up more on this set. You got a feel for how this is going. You're warmed up, you're ready, you're in the groove now. So let's do some really clean, tight reps. Tight, 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 tight. Pause and tight up. Now the quality of that's different. It's different, it should feel strong. It takes more mental energy. Straight up. It's wobbling at the end. So hold it stiff at the top, stiff. Good, rack. Okay. So when you get it up there, or just before you know you're past the sticking point, you know it's going to go up, you've got it under control. That's five sets, by the way. You kind of loosen up at the very end, and you're just kind of like letting it hold itself up there on your bones. Let's keep it firm. I mean, I, you, I, I know what you're doing, I think. In your head, or subconsciously, you know you got it, so you know you don't have to really concentrate and work hard anymore. You know this one's going to make it. And so at the end, you're, you're introducing some of, that, some of that wobble just by not staying focused on being tight. And so what that also teaches me about you and what you can learn about you is that you don't have an overall automatic built-in default of staying tight. When you, don't con when you do concentrate on it, you stay tight very well. But when you kind of don't concentrate on it and you weren't concentrating on it at the last, to hold that last rep or those, those, the, the finish of your reps, the last part of each rep, uh, when you weren't concentrating on it, this is wobbly. You'll see that in the video. And we'll see that there's gonna be a change between these next five sets. Because you're gonna make sure that you hold it tight. And by, by doing that consciously, over and over and over again, after a while you can forget about it. It will be the default. We'll just automatically hold every, every bar, every rep tight in between the reps. When the weight's at the top there, that's kind of in between the reps, right? 
it's not lifting, it's not lowering, it's it's not re it's, it's sort of in limbo, mentally. I want you to keep it as part of the lift. Okay. Your finish position and your lift is all part of the lift. And I, and I want you to stay tight. How's the triceps feel? Is anything, what's getting the workout right now today? The triceps in my mind. Oh, good. I'm glad you said that. Is this hard for you to do? No. Well, I promise it's easier when I'm not talking like this. When you're just doing it yourself, maybe I'll, maybe I'll be but quiet. No, it won't be as good if I'm just doing it myself. I always have a better lift when I'm with you. Yes, but, but this, what I mean about the, the chatter that I'm putting into your head doesn't let you fully mentally rest. Because you're thinking about what I'm saying right now instead of just laying there resting and feeling the strength come back. So I promise it gets, it, this is easier when you do it by yourself or when I shut up. 11 minutes and 10 seconds, 11, 10. And you're halfway there. So we're about right on time now. You've got half the sets in, you've got nine minutes left. Okay, tight, tight, tight. Everything tight and everything stays tight. Now to keep it tight, keep it clean, keep it tight. Boom, tight, go. Boom, tight, and start the next rep, right? You don't have to hold it there a long time. Just hold it tight and back down. Stay cleaner. Rock. Good. Six in. We're shooting for roughly four. Four more. Definitely feeling it now. We're coming up on 12 minutes. That gives you eight minutes to do four sets. Okay. It's about right. And so now the fatigue is starting to build up. So sense it. And don't be afraid to slow down and not make our 10, 10 arbitrary sets. That's just caprice. We don't, we don't need to have 10. Okay. I, I will tell you this. If you keep doing this, your conditioning builds up your timing and, and you'll be able to use this weight and yeah you can get 10 11 12 sets in at the same time you'll recover faster this is not something that we typically do this many sets in this short period of time or this many sets this is a high volume workout but but like you said we are training the mind we're training the sense of feeling ourselves get our strength back you're tired at the end of a set, then by the time it starts to, it's time to start a new set, you're not tired anymore, or you shouldn't be. You've got to convince yourself that you're not. You've got to say, I'm not going to be tired for these next four reps. And I think another thing that's very positive about this workout, since it's time structured, um, if, if you happen to be in a hurry and you want to get a decent workout in and you had a big long workout plan but the, the events of the day didn't, <laughs> didn't work out so well for you and you, you don't have much time, if you have 20 minutes, 15 or 20 minutes, you can get a hell of a workout. You just have to have the right weight and choose the right number of reps. I like fours for this. Okay, here's your stats. You're six sets in. 14 minutes. Do you really feel red? Would you like to take a little more rest then? This is the first time you've done this. This is like ground zero. You're setting your baseline. You don't have to make 10 sets. You don't have to do anything. You just want to get all your reps and you want to go as soon as you can and you want to feel the process of your strength return to you. Now the only mistake you can make today is to take that bar out before you're really recovered and only get three reps. So really be confident that you're gonna make your reps. Okay, here we go. Real tight, 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 tight down, tight up, tight finish, another. Tight down, tight up, finish. 
it's still moving very strong. Good. Tab seven sets in. And we are at, I might have misspoke. We, we have, um, we're, at, we're at 15 minutes and 22 seconds. Is that? So we've got one quarter of the time of our workout left. And we've got about three quarters of our workout done, seven out of 10. So you're, you're about on time. Just, just do everything right from these last ones, okay? okay? Three sets, do them right. Don't rush to, to, to think you get some sort of reward for getting it done in 20 minutes. That's not the reward. The reward is self-knowledge of feeling that strength come back to you. And I'll talk less now and just let you feel your strength return. I'll get a drink. You just feel it coming back to you. the film you can cut out if it's a long break nobody will want to watch you just sit there right. well maybe they will but don't go till you have confidence that you can make I haven't seen any real fatigue by the way you're doing fine you're doing just fine you're timing it very well but you have to be confident remember it's better to wait a little longer than it is to go too soon we need those four Okay, here we go. Set number eight. Drive. One. It's a good clean rep. One, two. How about tightening your lats a little bit? There we go. Crack. Eight down, two to go maybe. If you can get them in, 18 minutes. 120 seconds left and this workout's over. Just recover. Find a way to let yourself recover. Don't try to make yourself recover. So this is something I learned. Of course learned. I want to zoom and try to do them. Right? Well, you can. That's perfectly fine. You're not, you're not, you're not at the edge right now at all. But that's okay. It's your first workout. You're doing fine. I don't want you to rush and miss the point because you want to get the 10 sets in. Don't miss the point. Which is what the competitive side wants me to do. Well, I understand that. And you can, the next workout, we'll finish this out and see how long it does take you to get 10. And if it's 20 minutes and 10 seconds, then you can try to, you can try to lose those 10 seconds on your next workout. Okay. We got eight sets in. Here you go. This is set number nine, just four reps. One. Two, got loose again. That's okay, you just keep working. Three, get home any way you can get home. Four, put it in a rack. All right, you wanna beat the clock? You gotta do this in 30 seconds. I have to go in 30 seconds? No, you have to be done in 30 seconds. Should I do it? No. You should not. You didn't, you didn't quite make it, but not by much. You didn't miss by much. So let's just do this last set and get it. And we'll see how long it takes. And then your next workout, you can challenge yourself. This is your setting the baseline. This is about how long it takes you to get 10 sets done with minimal rest. We're taking minimal rest here. 
the body is recovering. You're making the, but man, this is different on the head, isn't it? Yeah. You just don't ever feel quite prepared, but you feel physically ready. I think a good lesson for this, for me, was that, that I shouldn't be wasting any extra time in the gym if I don't have to. How much time do I really need to get ready? And how much am I just hanging out in the gym? So I like to be in the gym. I like spending time in the process. I love the process. So I try to sometimes stretch it out. Because it's enjoyable. And I'm in the gym for more other things. But if you're in the gym for results, you're not in the gym for that feeling good about yourself and being in the gym. You want to get the results, go do something else. So, so next time I do this, would I go heavier since we almost got it? Or would I say the same? You could have your choice. You could try to get maybe 11 sets in, in the, in the allotted time. That's one way to improve. Or we could move the weight up. Absolutely. Either of those are acceptable. You know. We're not necessarily doing this for strength. You will get stronger doing this, but we're also building a little bit of, this is a very good uh, schedule or, or plan or routine, routine to build some uh, general overall uh, workout endurance. Just not get tired and realize I don't have to be that tired. I can, I can make myself do it. I can push really fast. If I can get four sets, of four in, in, in 20 minutes, man, I can, I can get these, you know, these three sets of, of uh, three reps in. All right. Make sure you don't miss. This will be 40 reps of training today. That's a nice, that's a nice amount to welcome yourself back to the gym. Let's keep those elbows in. They're starting to flare. That's just fatigue. All right, nice. All right, there's your 10. And the time is 22.27. I'll write that down. So basically, you were one set behind in the about two and a half minutes thing. Roughly. You know? Yeah. Two minutes, two and a half minutes. Now, that's what, that's what science tells us um, our muscles need to recover from one set to another. But I, I don't know of any sets, uh, of any science that tells us how long we should wait between repeated sets of that. It, it, it can't possibly be, continue to be two minutes. It has to get longer. Fatigue builds up. Neuromuscular fatigue, motor unit burnout comes in, right? All kinds of things. So understanding that it takes about two minutes between sets, for the muscles to recover, generally, for three three sets, you know, that that's fine. That makes sense. But what about seven sets, or nine sets, or twelve sets? I I don't think that still holds up. But you'll you'll feel it. And and I don't think you should necessarily be watching the clock like we were today. I was I was feeding you all those numbers. Another, another really good way to do it is to do your 10 sets and then look at the clock at the end and see what you did. It's really, in fact, if we do it again soon, we're gonna do just that. So let me wrap this up. That was a live training session. Uh, my, my intention is to leave this completely up as is, but she may decide to edit some things out. But you can generally see, even if there's, there's gaps in it, it's not a full 20 minutes, and you don't see each and every set, you can understand the process that we went through. And I think I talked about it enough um, during the actual training session that it, it should be clear. So, uh, boy, this is, a, this is a, another rewarding style of training, and it, it's, it's another one of those that's not just physical. This is, this is a lot in the head. And, um, you know, I really believe in that. So uh, there you have it, and have fun with that. Thank you. 11.16, perfect timing. What time is it? 11.16.